Good evening. Well, I want to talk about something related to bikes, but first, I need to find one of these for my lamp. Because this one's blown, and I'm not sure if I've actually got a spare one up here in this box. Yep, I've got a big, whoops, big box of light bulbs. Uh, and I've got really poor lighting up here as well. Uh, I've got also got some BT internet hubs. That'll do to get me out of a pickle. Obviously they're not going to be as fast as the current one I've got on the fiber optic broadband I've got. But uh, like I said, if that fails and I need one quick smart, then I've got some. That's why I keep a few of those. They still work fine. I never ever had even a teeny bit of trouble with mine. I had a couple fail. It uh, doesn't last forever, does it? Right. I hope I've got a bulb in here. Loads of bulbs. Well, I've got four of these. I suppose I could stick a couple on eBay out of the way. I don't really need to keep four. do with taking the box out really. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll take the box out so Okay, I've got the box down. Yeah, I have lots and lots of spare bulbs. This is what I've collected up over the years. Well, actually most of these were left in in the wooden shed at the house my mum currently leave, lives in. So, I don't know why the previous occupant had so many bulbs of various types. Mm, no, that's too small. I've got one of these I could try in the lamp. Mm, could try a candle bulb. Or spot bulb just blue. There's another one I could try. Got all sorts in here. I've got LED bulbs for halogen fittings. And strip lights. Energy savers coming out of my ass. I don't keep them just for me. If my family had, I found one. If it's any good. The filament looks like it's intact. So I'm going to have to get some more of these, I think. This is now officially my last one. Damn it, I forgot what I came in here for as well. It wasn't just a light bulb, it was what I wanted to talk about. Right. Just turn the main light on. Because I want to uh, talk about what I've got on my desk. But uh, I need a bit of light. This might make me jump because I don't actually know if the power is still turned on. Ooh, power is on. Oh, I didn't jump. That's a first. Usually when things suddenly come on like that, they make me jump. Not because they've given me a shock, just because they surprise me. No idea why, because, you know, I always expect it, so, there we go, we've got a bit of light on the subject now, let's see what we're doing. Now, what I'm going to talk about is two different types of bike parts that do the same thing, but are usually mixed up, or commonly mixed up, so this is a bit of a... Uh, educational video if you like. So what we've got in front of me are three items that look exactly the same, except they're not. These, these two, are two different types of cassette, and there's a freewheel. What is the difference? 
set, as you can see, there's grooves on there. It's a bit dirty on the back because I haven't cleaned it up yet. They slide onto what's called a free hub, which is one of those. Alright, you slide this on. And sometimes there's either one or two loose cogs which you slide on. They will only go on one way. And then you'd lock it on with this screw. Sort of like a locking screw. And of course this one is just a slightly different style. It's got bigger gears, as you can see. So I would this actually came off a mountain bike wheel, but that would be something I'd expect to see on a racing bike. Um but this one is a freewheel because it's got the mechanism all built into one, as you can see. This screws onto the wheel, onto the wheel hub itself. So that's the difference. So you've got to remember freewheel, cassette. Freewheel, cassette. Now, some people do mix them up. There's a number number printed on there, I don't know if it's for the a chain reference, so you can get the right chain uh, for the gears. You know, the top one on this freewheel is a 28 tooth. I've got a feeling it might be bigger on this one. I haven't actually got any cassette wheels, but I want to keep a few cassettes just for spares. And I've put those three wheels as they are on eBay because they're Mavic rims, and I haven't really got a use for Mavic rims. I need to have a clean out, so I've stuck those on eBay. They're um, starting bid as a tenner each, and I know they should go for a bit more than that because my mum's neighbour has sold a few, and they do go for a nice tidy sum. So I've got those on there, ready to go. That's what I've got these off of. I'd rather sell them without, one, so I've got spares, and two, whoever buys them can put their own custom cassette on, because this one is a 9-speed and that one is an 8-speed. Well, they might want to put a 7-speed on, it's up to them. You know, with the wheel bare like that, they've got the choice. And the same with the skewer. Anywho, I just want to make this quick little video, just to talk about the difference between a free wheel and a cassette as it's something I do oh, let's start that again a mistake that I do com commonly come across that people make it doesn't really matter you know if you've been in, uh, involved with bikes as long as I have then you'll know the difference anyway and you'll know what people are talking about regardless anyway I'm going to end the video and thanks for watching I'll talk to you again soon.